So Honda just hung three passports 100 feet in the sky just to show you its new updated unibody chassis as well as that it now has recovery hooks. It's kind of hilariously unnecessary, but when you think about it, the top passports recovery hooks are actually carrying a total of 14,000 pounds, which is pretty impressive considering this is not a body on frame SUV. Now, one thing not mentioned is that the tow hitch on that top passport is carrying around 9,000 pounds, which is almost double the towing capacity of the Honda Passport, which tells us two things. Firstly, is that this new unibody structure is extremely strong. And secondly, is that the Passport's towing capacity is most likely limited by the powertrain. Honda is going all out with this new Passport and trying to show that it is a capable off-roading SUV. And I know a lot of people hate to see this thing compared with the 4Runner, but that's kind of the segment that Honda is going after with this sort of mid-size off-road SUV. And sure, it's not going to be as hardcore when it comes to the trails, but it's going to be an incredibly capable SUV. And as a unibody, it's going to be way more comfortable, a lot quieter, and it's going to have way more space on the inside of the cabin, which is actually kind of why the Land Rover Defender moved to this sort of luxurious unibody chassis. Plus, it also maintains a naturally aspirated V6, which is kind of a pain point for the new 4Runner. 